So if you've seen last week, I had a struggle making an IGTV video. It was mainly because of the content in which I make. Everything is widescreen and it's a monitor. So pushing it, cramming it to a phone is kind of difficult at times, but I wanna go through the process of making a video work for IGTV if you're filming widescreen instead of tilting your camera sideways to film vertical. You might not be making a video yourself, but you might have a client that wants you to uh, make videos for them. So I decided that it would be a good idea to make this on how to make IG videos. There's a couple of uh, little things to keep in mind, and then I'll give you a couple of tips to speed up the process as well. So let's jump into it. Okay, so just starting out here, I was looking up what is the resolution that I need, what is the aspect ratio, and I came across a website that said that 4.5 or um, 9 by 16 would work, and for me, I was like, oh, let's do 4 by 5 because it's a little wider, and then the content in which I shoot, which is all widescreen, would fit in there a little bit better and there wouldn't be as much law. So that's the idea I had. I went and then I uh, made the video. I then went to go upload it and the sides were cropped. So that obviously didn't work. So then I just did the nine by 16 and all we're really doing is taking the 16 by nine resolutions and then just flipping the numbers. So. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to this little gear here. We're going to click on it and then right here, we're just going to change this and we're going to flip them. So 1080 and then 1920, uh, set your frame rate if you want. I didn't see anywhere that was stating the frame rates that would or wouldn't work, uh, but overall, 30 frames per second works on just about everything. So that's what I ended up going with. Now let's add some media in quick and I'm gonna add in some uh, vertical stuff as well as some widescreen stuff. Uh, Cause each thing has a couple of issues that you need to uh, work with. Now I have my content in here. Let's just go with mo what most people are gonna be working with which is the widescreen content. So if I bring this into my timeline, what you'll see is right away, uh, it's obviously just a little window. If you're like GoPro, um, they just said, I wanna sh have all my content like that and I'm just going to put textures on the top and bottom, you know, to each his own, I guess. Uh, so how do you fix this? You could come into each one and, you know, play with the zoom could get time consuming. The better way to do this is just to come down here to settings and then go to image scaling. And then right here for uh, input scaling, we're gonna change this to scale full frame with crop. And what that's going to do is it's going to find which part of that shot has the smallest edge and it's going to maximize that to the full size. And then anything else, it'll keep the same aspect ratio of that clip but anything else will then just get cropped out. So we'll do that and then boom, we have it. So this is how the majority of your content is going to be. It's just gonna look like this. The next process that you have to go through if you're working with a video that is widescreen and you're putting it into this vertical is you're going to have to go into each shot, move around the position to have the things in frame that you want to have. Uh, a couple of other things that you can do is, let's say we have uh, over here, we have the cup that we want to have in frame. And if we scrub through here a little bit further, she then picks up the cup. So I would say like somewhere right about here, we could then have it come over, right? And then she puts the cup back down. So like right about there, we could then have it come back over. We can then take those keyframes and smooth those out so that they don't look as bad. Um, you're gonna also get into a lot of cutting. You could then cut uh, different things back and forth. So if let's say you have two people, I've seen a couple of different creative um, things that uh, where people, if it was two people in a shot and it was a widescreen shot, they just cut the shot in the middle and then stack them on top of each other. That is a pretty good uh, idea for working with something like a talk show, let's say. Uh, now, beforehand, know that you're going to be 
making IG content, we could then we could just take our camera and tilt it you know, vertically and then just film everything like that. And that would be perfect because then we wouldn't have to worry about scaling and making sure things are in frame because we can just look at our monitor and just make sure we're in frame just like we're filming anything else, but we just hold the camera upright. What, what we're gonna end up having then is when we bring the content in is we're gonna have the content sideways, right? Because the camera thinks that it's supposed to be this way, but we're gonna tilt it up. So how would we fix this? This is pretty simple. We're just gonna come over here to rotation angle, and then we're just going to change this to 90. And obviously it didn't work that way. It really depends on the camera and which way you hold it. You might have to then just instead of putting 90, you just put a negative 90 and boom, we have it perfect. But if you have, let's say a bunch of clips and you want that to apply to all of them, let's say your timeline has 70 clips. This is gonna be a pain in the butt to go through each and every one and do that. So the easier way of doing this is clicking on this one copying, highlighting all of the other ones. You can come up to edit, paste attributes, or you can just hit Alt V. And then it's going to ask you, what are the attributes that you want to add? Uh, and then you're just, you're just gonna put rotation angle. And what you're gonna notice is it flips it up right, perfect. But one thing that you'll notice, it's, it's a bit um, tight, it's zoomed in a bit. And that's because it's taking the smaller ratio here and it's maximizing it when it was this way so previously here it's maximizing it it's filling it up so it's taking the smaller area and then it's just stretching it and what we're doing is we're making it tall so the uh scaling that we were using for the vertical video isn't going to work for for here what we're going to do for this kind of content, we're just going to hit here, center, and then no rescaling. And then boom, it'll it'll then work here perfectly. And our other shot also has it in there as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a pain in the butt to try to use all of your older content that is all set up for widescreen and get it to sit or to work in the vertical. Some stuff will work, some stuff you'll seem like, it'll feel like it's too uh, zoomed in. I, I, I feel like a lot of people are gonna be using <laughs> very wide angle lenses for IGTV content. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this one. And if you have any ideas or suggestions, you can throw them my way as well. Again, my name's JR, and thanks for watching.